I'm here in front of a community center near Kimberly and City, Missouri. This building once used to be a church. In fact, the road it's on is called Slade Chapel Road. It was once full of life and hope and healing. Today, people play bingo here once a week and occasionally rent the facility for family reunions. My prayer for the water's edge is that decades from now, the church is full of life, hope, and healing. My prayer is that the people of the water's edge are full of love, faith, and grace. Prayer is how the church prevails. Prayer is also how the people of the church continually develop a vital relationship with God. We don't want to end up like this building. Today is the 15th day of the 50 days of prayer. If you are two weeks into the 50 days, I hope this has been a fruitful exercise for you. You have learned about and thought about and prayed about things like anger and gratitude and dreams and forgiveness. If you haven't got around to starting uh, the 50 days yet, most of the 50 days are still in front of us. Over the next three days, we're going to look at uh, anxiety and boredom and despair. This Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, whether you're participating in the 50 days or not, uh, we're going to meet us at the church property and we're going to pray. I encourage you to participate in this event. At the end of the week, we're going to look at things like uh, taking risk and serving. So there's a lot of really cool stuff in front of us. I invite you to continue the 50 days of prayer. Um, and I also invite you to start today if you haven't started yet. If you don't have the book, you can read it online at watersedgeomaha.com. We have five more weeks of intentionally growing in our prayer life as individuals, as families, and as a church. And I invite you to take this journey with me.